In this video, we're going to be decoding a JWT token from within our Angular application. Here at JWT.io, we currently have this token. We have all this really good information, but how do we actually use it within our Angular application? And that's what we'll be setting up in this video. Back inside of our project here, what we're going to be doing up here at the top is toggling the admin and the manager button off and on. That's one of the things we'll be doing with the information that we get from our token. So we are currently at video 13. If you missed any of the prior videos, I highly recommend checking out this playlist up here in the top right corner. And that's the entire playlist for all these videos here. The package that we want to install to decode our JWT tokens within the Angular application is this package right here. So if you go down in the description, you'll find this link right here. Click on that and you end up on this page. And the package you want to install is this right here. So copy this. And we'll be jumping back and forth to this page because there's a lot of really good documentation here. But for now, we'll just install the package. Inside the terminal, and I'll open up a new window and paste and install. And why this is installing, let's set up our auth service. So inside of our auth module, resources and open up the auth service. And while we're here, we'll open up the user interface. We'll need to make some changes in here as well. And we'll start inside the auth service. So the first thing we want to do, like in the documentation, we want to import the package we just installed. And I'll go back to the documentation. And right here it shows you how to import it. So just copy this piece. And then also we'll set up this within our variables. And then we'll have access to these methods. Uh, decode token is expired. We'll be using both of those. So let's import the service. And then like it says in the documentation, we'll set up a variable. And we'll call it the same thing. We'll call it helper. So now we have a variable called helper and we created a new instance of the Jolt help helper service. So now we'll have access to those methods that we were checking out in the documentation. So let's use them. So right inside of our login method, right at the top here, we'll create another variable. And this will be called decoded token exactly like they did in the documentation. And now we're using the decode token method. And this decode token method, you pass in the token. So we're getting that token from the response and we already set up the API for that. So now this decoded variable should have all of our values now. So now we can select our username and email. So this whole section here, we could just comment this out. We'll do this different now and we'll get the information from our decoded token. So inside of our decoded token, we should have a given name and an email. So I'm setting that to the current user we already have set here. Now also we have a role and a job title. We could set that up. So let's jump into the user interface and we'll add a couple more properties. So I'm adding in a role and a job title. These two properties should be within our token now. Save this. We can shut this down. We're not going to be back in here. And then also we'll set it to our current user because now we're getting an error for this. So I'll add that towards the bottom. So now we have a role and a job title. Now we can set those properties. So I'll add that right below our email. And now we're setting our job title and the role to whatever we're getting back from our token. Now we can get rid of all this. And also this is logged in. We're going to do this a little different as well. So we could remove all this as well. And now we're getting all of our information from our token now. While we're here, let's set up a few other things. Like we'll change this logout. And now what we'll do here is we'll remove our token when the user tries to log out. So let's replace this. So we'll call on the local storage and we'll use the remove item and we'll remove the token. And instead of setting this variable up here, this is logged in, I'm going to remove this and we'll do this different as well. And I'm just going to create a method now and I'll add that right below our login method. So whenever this method gets called, it's going to return a Boolean true or false if the user is logged in or not. So we go in, we grab the token out of local storage, and then we're using our is token expired method that our new service is giving us, and we pass in the token. It's gonna to check to see if the token is expired or not. If it is expired, return true. If it's not, return false. So now that we did all our setup work inside of our service, we can save this. Let's use all this information now to update our template. 
And we'll start off inside of the header. And if we go inside of our shared folder, inside of components, open up the header HTML and the header TS file. And we'll start inside of the TS file. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to toggle some buttons off and on depending if the user is a admin or a manager. If we actually check out the front end again and inside the browser, so what we want to do is we want to toggle the admin button and the manager button depending if they're the manager or the admin. To do that, what we'll do is we'll bring in the auth service first thing inside of our constructor. And then we'll bring it in. And now we have inside the auth service the current user. And the current user has a role. So we could check that. So we'll call on our auth service current user role and we'll check to see if it's administrator or not. If it equals administrator, we'll return true. If not, return false. Now I can actually add that right here. So this is going to return a Boolean. And then we want to check to see if the user is the manager or not. So we'll create another method checking to see if the user is the manager. So we call on the current user role and we check to see if they're a manager. If they are, return true. If they're not, return false. Again, I'll add in the Boolean here. So this is going to return a type of Boolean. So we set up the TS file. Let's set up the header HTML. And all we'll do here is we'll toggle the admin and the manager depending if the user is the admin or manager. So right inside the LI, I'll add in the ng if directive. And we'll call on the method we just set up. And this returns a Boolean, true or false. So if the user is the admin, we're going to show them this LI. Also, we'll do the same thing with the manager. So if the user is the manager, we'll show them this link right here. Now, before we go any further, let's save this. The application is already running. Let's check this out in the browser. Now in the browser, both of our links are missing. The reason is, is we're not logged in. Now, if we try to log in as Mike 8, that is a administrator. So we should see the administrator link show up in the header if we log in under this account. Let's try that. Go back here, go to the login page and Mike 8. And password, really good password, one, two, three, four, and then log in. And as you can see, the admin button shows up. Now, as you can see, we broke the login and register. This isn't toggling over correctly. And also right here, this isn't toggling over to a logout button like it did before. Let's set that up. Now the auth links are actually located within their own component. And we're actually getting an error for the auth links right here. And we didn't switch over the property and we'll do that. So I'll open up the HTML and then the auth buttons component that is actually on the home page. That's this right here. So these two buttons are within their own component. And I added that right here within this component, the auth button. So I'll open that up as well. And we'll take care of these errors here. So we're not using the is logged in property anymore. We're using the logged in. So I'll copy this. Jump back into here. We'll start inside the off buttons and I'll replace all these. And then let's do the same thing inside the off links component and I'll replace all these as well. And then save this. Let's jump back in the browser and make sure our buttons are toggling over correctly. Now, when we attempt to log in, And we successfully log in. As you can see, the link toggled over. And if we go to the home page, this toggled over to the profile and the logout. So that is working good. Now there's one more issue that I missed. If we click on the logout, the admin should disappear when you log out. And that's an easy fix, actually. If we go back to the project, go back into our auth service, and then within the logout, all we'll do is we'll clear out the current user. So when they log out, we'll make sure we wipe out all this information here. And I'll go inside the logout, add another snippet. So all we're doing is we're setting everything within the current user back to null. And that should update our header correctly. Again, make sure you save everything, go back to the application, and then we'll try logging in one more time. So now we have the admin button. Now if we go to the home page, we log out, everything updates correctly. And as you can see, the link is removed. Now let's just test one more thing. Let's test our manager. 
So if we log in as the manager, and that is Mike Seven in this case, and that has a role of manager. And as you can see, our manager link shows up. And then we go back to the home page, log out again, and everything updates correctly. Now that we're able to decode a token from within our Angular application, now let's call a protected API from our Angular application and see if we could get back any protected information from an API. We'll do that next.